Okay, so here we are back in Audacity with Audacity open. Okay, so I've still my file selected and I'm going to apply uh, uh, some filter curve. So I go to effect and I go down to filter curve and you get up this filter curve EQ. So it's like an EQ and I'm going to go to manage and I'm going to go to factory presets and I'm going to go to a base boost. And this will give me a base boost here a base boost curve and then I'm just going to say OK and that's applying the filter curve EQ now and you'll see the, the file here will probably change once it's complete so now you'll notice here that the file may change as it's applied now you see the file just changed there I'm going to leave the file selected back into effects and down to filter curve I'm going to go to manage I'm going to go to factory presets and I'm going to give it a treble boost so that's treble, treble boost so that'll boost the top end here and say OK so it's applying that filter so look at multi tracker 2.2 so I've still the file selected, I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to normalize and I'm going to leave the normalize to minus one. Now you can go to zero or whatever you want. I'm going to minus one and then just say okay. That normalized the file. Let me just have a quick listen. We're going to take a look at Multi Tracker 2.2. .2. So that's the icon there for it. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go File, Export, Wave. I'm going to go back in and find the folder where I was. And I'm going to rename the file. I'm going to call this file, um, I'm going to put Edit after it. Now ready to use and then uh, so saving it as a wave encoding it as a 16-bit PCM so that's what I want save and then I will just give it a name my own name and uh, it's the speech for this multi-tracker you can call your file whatever you want uh, I'm just going to call it that then you say okay and now saving the file as a wave so I can use it in my video project so there we have it saved so that's just simple a simple using the presets and the filter curve in audacity so I hope that has been helpful